What I want to remind you is that our practice of yoga is not developing these crazy skills. It's actually stripping away so that we can trust our sensitivity, our ability to sense again. That as we move into some of the adjustments, today what we're going to play with is what is an energetic adjustment? You know, how do you trust your inclination to go somewhere? This is an introduction to some of the energetic work that we do in the course. Forward as it feels appropriate. Notice if you're centered, if you have insecurities or anything coming up or something you're processing, place that to the side. So one of the exercises that I do in the introduction to uh, working with energetics is a really simple exercise with partners. And so we'll have half of the students on one side of the room and half of the students on the other side. And they'll, the people who are what I call the seers or the perceivers, the sensors, will take a moment to ground and center and to really make sure that they have that and to also put aside whatever they have going on and to take their time to start to enter someone else's space and to notice what does it feel like to walk into someone else's space where does the boundary begin and to trust their intuition as they'll be drawn to place their hand on a certain part of the body and then to notice as they walk in are they allowed in how does that person react because as you could see how gentle Heather went in, this was actually like a, a perfect example of how to enter space where she really paid attention to the field and to where the outlier was. So she didn't just put her hand right onto Kofi's pelvis. She really went out to where the, the energy was. Every time we've done it, it's been very powerful for both sides. Even someone with no knowledge or expertise or sensitivity or awareness of it, will hone into where that place, where that wound wants to be touched. And it can be really emotionally healing and also deeply healing on a, a mental and on a, uh, on a trauma level as well. So it's really empowering because I think what's important for me is that we don't need magic tricks, we don't need magic skills, we don't need to take these long workshops and become something magical. Once we have that, then to trust what we perceive and how we perceive one another. So it's in that realness, in that rawness, in that authenticity from our hearts that we really can start to connect and hold a really simple healing space where everyone still stays empowered. So when I look at the body, for some reason the anatomy just speaks to me. I didn't read this in a book, it's just what comes through. So I want to give you the space to trust how you tune in. You know, some of us are going to tune into emotional patterns more, that's me. You might tune into mental patterns. You might tune into physical stuff. You might only see past life stuff. You know, so you've got to honor what you've got.